for its first major rebuke of the president during his last days in office. Failure is simply not an option. I would urge my colleagues to support this legislation one more time when we vote tomorrow. The House passed an override of Trump's veto on Monday, causing him to lash out on Twitter today, saying weak and tired Republican leadership will allow the bad defense bill to pass a disgraceful act of cowardice and total submission by weak people to big tech. With the stakes in Washington higher than ever and the financial stability of millions of Americans on the line, the president spent today, like he has many others in Palm Beach, on the golf course. Now, Jim, after the president sat on that coronavirus relief bill that he did finally sign on Sunday night, that's the one that has those $600 stimulus payments that Americans are going to get. But there was some concern that they could be delayed when they were going to actually go out, given that the president had waited so long to sign the bill. But the Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin just tweeted a few minutes ago saying that some of those, uh, those payments could start to go into bank accounts of Americans starting as early as tonight and going into next week. So we sh should still see that going on that initial timeline that he had offered to reporters despite the president's hold up in signing that bill okay caitlin collins thanks so much for that joining us now independent senator bernie sanders of vermont to comment on all of this uh, senator sanders thanks for joining us uh, as you know the senate majority leader is now combining the two thousand dollar stimulus checks with two of president trump's other demands a repeal of internet regulations and a voter fraud investigation uh, even though there wasn't any widespread voter fraud in this presidential election we just had what does that mean for millions of struggling Americans hoping for these bigger checks. Well, look, Jim, there is a level of economic desperation in this country right now that we have not seen in our lifetimes. I mean, that's just the simple, painful truth. And that means that there are people by the millions who are worried about being evicted, thrown out onto the streets in the midst of this terrible, horrific pandemic. People don't have the money to go to a doctor. I hope there's a counter uh, here for a Mitch McConnell's like new way to poison this uh, uh, bill. Now, families are and Bernie talks tickets. about that That's as well. The reality. Now, uh, the House last night did the right thing. And what they did do is we fought hard to get a direct payment in the original bill, the $600 payment. That's not enough. We wanted more. And what the House did is they raised that to $2,000. What must happen Mitch knows how to deliberate. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking dilute sure the bill. He's gonna try to fucking the change the, the number of dependents. He's Senate. gonna try to add poison pill provisions as he has so far. The S two thirty. I think we have the votes to pass it. That's what the American people want. And Senator Sanders, uh, President Trump tweeted today Don't that unless Republicans up. quote have a Here, death you know wish, what he they said there. The two thousand dollar payments ASAP. Although of course he's attached these other demands uh, to that. Uh, do you fear that these repeated attacks uh, coming from the president could torpedo uh, his own push, a uh, push that you support? Well, you know, as somebody who disagrees with Trump on everything, I got to say he's right on the need for this $2,000 uh, check. And I hope the Republican leadership listens to him. And the other issues that are out there, do you think, Jim, that all over America people are saying, my God, we have to repeal Section 230 of the 1996 Telecommunications Act. My God, that is a major national priority. Nobody even knows what that is. And the other thing about voter fraud, you know, Trump keeps talking about how he won the election. Nobody in their right mind believes that. He lost the election. We can separate those issues. Do we want to take a look at Section 230? It's an important issue. Yeah, we should. There's a way to do that. Not now. How do we create elections so that everybody can find it more easily can more easily vote. We do away with voter suppression. There are issues out there. We can discuss it. But right now, the issue on everybody's mind is how do I survive? How do I feed my kids? How do I not get evicted? So what we have got to do is just demand that McConnell bring forth a clean House bill. The House did it, by the way. They did it in a bipartisan way. I think there were 46 Republicans who voted for it. Bring it to the floor. I can't guarantee that it's going to win in the Senate. We need 60 votes. I think we got a damn good shot to win it. Bring it to the floor for a vote, Mitch. That's what democracy is about. That's what our job is to vote these things up or down. Let's get that vote. And I know you're trying to put some pressure yep. on the situation. I, I just want to mention this to you. In the last hour, the number two Senate Democrat, your colleague, Dick Durbin, told me he disagrees with your plan to block the vote to override the president's 
defense bill veto until Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell allows a vote on these stimulus checks. Uh, that's what you're pushing for. How do you respond to Senator Durbin? He, he well, doesn't agree with you. my on. dick, Senator well, Durbin. Uh, dick and I are old friends, and we'll have our disagreements. And if Dick has a better way, a better approach to put pressure Suck my dick. on the Republican dick. leadership uh, to pass uh, legislation which provides $2,000 for every working class adult uh, in this country, I'm all ears. I have not heard that from Dick or from anybody else. Do you have other Senate Democrats who are supporting you? Well, of course we do. Ed Markey was on the floor with me. We have a number of them. The overwhelming majority of the American people well, so the, of the of Democrats certainly want to uh, get the opportunity to vote for this $2,000 check. That's where the Democrats are, including Durbin. And I think uh, waiting a few more days to pass the defense bill, uh, which, you know, eventually will there will be an override of Trump's veto. We can do that. But right now, the focus has got to be on getting those absolutely uh, e emergency survival checks out to people. And even if the Senate Majority Leader uh, allowed a straight vote, Democrats would need some 12 Republicans to join yes. them. Do you think you can even get there? I think there's a chance. I mean, I, can't, I wouldn't bet, you know, the f whole farm on it. Uh, right uh -huh. now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there are at least five Republicans who have indicated support for a $2,000 check. Others are, you know, making, uh, are indicating that they would be interested in doing it. So uh, I think there is a shot that we can uh, win this thing. And Senator, watch how Senate, uh, Senate Republican Pat Toomey explained his opposition uh, to increasing those stimulus checks. Yeah, Take yes. a listen. Again, suck my dick. We do not have Pat a Toomey. global macro economic depression underway at all. So it makes no sense to be sending this out to everybody who has a pulse. What do you make of that argument? Such a piece well, of I don't shit. Know, you know, Pat talking about a, a global macro e e economic crisis. Maybe you should talk to the people in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia and learn about the difficulties that they are having feeding their kids or paying the rent or going to the doctor, the kind of debt that they are accumulating and paying off 20% interest rates on their credit cards by accumulating this debt. Here's the simple truth. No one can deny it. People are hurting in an unprecedented way. Working class today is in more desperation than at any time since the Great Depression. And we have got to provide help and we've got to do it right now. Well, there's no question that people are hurting and they're looking to Washington for help. Senator Bernie Sanders, thanks for coming on and explaining your point of view on this. We appreciate it. And there's more breaking news we're following tonight. Sharp criticism of the Trump administration's vaccine rollout by uh, President-elect uh, Joe Biden. Let's go to CNN political correspondent MJ Lee in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, MJ, these were some strong words. The real, the, yeah, see, this is exactly why I was mad at Joe Biden. You want to know why? Because him fucking talking about this dumbass shit, like, oh, the vaccine distribution is slacking and whatnot, is taking the focus away. If Joe Biden had talked about the 2K fucking, if Joe Biden had slammed the congressional Republicans specifically on holding up two thousand dollars that would be the conversation right now now it's being used as a misdirection that is precisely why i hope the liberals who fucking didn't leave when i uh when i told them remember why this is a bad thing that joe biden is doing i hope you're still in here and i hope you recognize that what joe biden did by like talking about vaccine distribution albeit still important was fucking lutely a distraction away from the real conversation that should be taking place right now. Every single moment, every single opportunity that Biden and other national Democrats have on television should revolve around the 2K stimulus. Okay? Terrible. It's fucking terrible. It's one week out from the Georgia elections. Why in the ever loving fuck would you ever talk about anything but an issue that is at the center of the Georgia elections? Do you not want to win the Georgia runoff elections? 
Do you want to lose the Georgia runoff elections? Or do you want to win the Georgia runoff elections? Because if you want to win, you literally have to talk about the issue at the center of it. An issue that is a winning issue for the Democrats. An issue that is already won in the legislative agenda for the Democrats. An issue that has gotten Republicans to concede once and is literally about to get them to concede twice to the Democrats, offering a political victory to the Democratic Party even before Joe Biden takes office. King Frost, thank you for the 25 tier one gift subs. Just wear a mask and do your part. Don't worry about the government doing anything for you. Oh, and fuck your rent. Now, what Biden advisors are telling us is that the lack of cooperation from the Trump administration now could have serious national security implications that extend into the Biden presidency. And Jim asked for those transition meetings between the DOD and the Biden transition team. What we are learning is that there are now three of those meetings scheduled for some time this week. Uh, two of them will be about COVID-19, we are told. One of them will be about cybersecurity. Though, Jim, I have to say it's hard to believe that the Biden transition team thinks that this is nearly enough. Jim. I doubt it. Uh, all right, CNN's MJ Lee, uh, stand by. Uh, we want to get more on all of the breaking news next uh, with our panel. Guys, this doesn't matter. The stimulus conversation around 2K is not about, is not even directly about getting it passed. How do you fail to see this? You win even if you don't get the 2K to pass as a Democrat, okay? I want the 2K stimulus to pass. I want the Cash Act to pass as is. Okay, because I, I, I think that uh, uh, the American people deserve $2,000. They deserve more than that. But this conversation isn't about even fucking getting that to pass. It's about communicating to the people why you must vote for the Democrats. Even if it doesn't pass, you still fucking win. You win the narrative in the Georgia race. That's the point. Why would that matter when Loeffler and Purdue are telling Georgians to support the 2K and Ossoff and Warnock can put it out there without Biden? Are you fucking dumb, dude? Did you not just watch what happened? The top Democrat in the country is the only Democrat who is not talking about the 2K fucking uh, stimulus right now. The one Democrat in the country that has more of a voice than any other Democrat, Nancy Pelosi, talking directly about the 2K uh, in, in uh, direct payments. Chuck Schumer talking about the 2K in direct payments. Bernie Sanders holding a filibuster on the NDAA uh, uh, overriding veto vote to make sure that the 2K payments are used as a bargaining chip. The only person... Doesn't that strike you as odd that the only person... With the most fucking clout who like runs the country, who's going to run the country and is functionally in charge of the Democratic Party is the only person who's not talking about the 2K uh, direct payments. Trump is talking about it more. It's obvious he doesn't want to win control of the Senate. Stop acting like he wants change. He wants a quiet years of, four years of nothing. Hey, brother, just because I'm aware of it doesn't mean that every single other person in my chat is aware of that. Maybe it's better that I fucking get them to be aware of that without immediately associate without immediately saying it outright why don't i do the way i do my narrative and and you just watch okay instead of getting mad at me about the way i'm i'm uh, talking about this issue sometimes you have to convince people okay if you ask me the reason why biden won't do it is because deep down inside i think democrats know that they win if they win georgia they win but their situation is a little bit harder because now they have to now they have to uh you know actually do stuff and then there's going to be a long fought battle with the more progressive wing of their democratic party where uh you know it's going to be out and about it's going to be publicly played out If they lose, then they could just blame it on the fucking Republicans. Oh, God, they're so obstructionist. Republicans are going to be so obstructionist. 
oh no, we can't do anything. That's why I think that they, uh, that's why I think at least like Joe Biden wants to just deal with Mitch McConnell. <laughs> Your resting heart rate is terrible. Okay. Thanks, brother. Well, you're done. Okay, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. I, I just, there's nothing I hate more. I just, I hate Chatterino so much. It literally, can you ban that Rose person, please? Permanently? I just, I fucking, I'm losing my mind. I, I literally, Chatterino breaks like every fucking day. It's so stupid. So incredibly stupid. It's like, Chatterino used to break every day, but now Chatterino just breaks every fucking minute. Ah, oh, there we go. Band is, bands are back. Is that a Kofia pattern sweater? Major Palestine Pog Yeet? Yes, it is. Anyway. What does this Bernie has to do this? If McConnell attempts to combine Section 230 and election stuff with a 2K checks vote and a one amendment, Democrats could try to take a page from the Dr. Coburn playbook. What? I don't know about that. Coburn hijacks debate on debt limit hike. Clay Pigeon splits Coburn's pending amendment to the debt limit, increase into 17 separate parts, a move that will require the chamber to take 17 separate votes and drag out the debate significantly. No. I think they should just say, no, we're doing a fucking clean 2K. That's what people want. Does Twitch not have tools like that built in? What? What are we talking about? This is McConnell's bill language if you haven't seen it. No, I have seen it. It's not 2K a month, it's one time 2K payment.